Bismuth's atomic number is 83. That means it has uh, 83 protons and 83 electrons. And I think around 125 neutrons. So bismuth is like a big bag on the periodic table. Very large numbers. Not the largest, but very close. Its atomic weight is 208.98. And it's non-reactive. So in layman terms, or Gen Z terms, it's a nonchalant six-foot dreadhead with waves. I don't know how to fuck. The bismuth's been in stuff like Pepto Bismol forever. It's not like the same crystal-like kind, but it's or so a combination of another chemical and that element. When it cools down, it forms these insane rainbow-colored crystals. Stuff looks like a piece of art from another dimension. It's kind of rare too. It doesn't show up everywhere, but when it does, it's like finding a hidden gem. And most people don't realize how rare it is because it's usually found as a byproduct of other metal mining. Yo, chat, look what I just found. Look what I just found. Minecraft just updated their game. What the fuck is that? And just like all big backs, it's very heavy. <laughs> Not super heavy, but its density is like 10 grams per cubic centimeter. So it's got some weight. But honestly, it's also pretty stable and non-toxic, which makes it one of the less dangerous metals out there. Plus, it has a low melting point. It melts at 271 Celsius, which means it's not about to turn into a lava stream at room temperature. Bismuth was discovered way back in 1753 by Claude Francis. Just put that shit on the screen, bro. I'm not saying that. But honestly, it was probably hanging around centuries before that. Like, people were probably using it without knowing what it really was. So, yeah, Bismuth's cool. It's a rare and really not that dramatic element out there so if you're ever looking for a new favorite metal business your guy